Hey guys, how's it going? This is Herbert Yuba. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to simultaneous equations. You may have come across this type of, of equations where you have um, uh, two unknowns. So here you have this x, it's unknown, and you also have this y, it's unknown, okay? It's equal to a certain value. Uh, sometimes you can have the same form of equation, but then arranged it differently. So it can be x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. It's still more or less the same thing and you'd be having two of these equations. So you'd be having this equation here, and you'd also be having this equation here, okay? So one way to figure out what's really happening here is um, to know that these equations, these two, these two equations, actually rep represent straight line equations. So x plus y equal to 5 would be representing a line with a, with a negative gradient. We'll do this later on. You understand why it's, uh, it's got negative gradient. So all the points on this line here will be representing uh, they are valid points for for x and for y okay so each and every point gives a set of y and, uh, uh, and x values that will give you five in a similar way uh, you'd also be having x minus y equal to equal to three you'd also be having a similar equation this 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 one would be having a positive gradient so it'd be give it'd be going this way so all these values here they uh, represent uh, the values for x minus y equal to equal to 3 and all the values on this line they represent the values for x plus y equal to equal to 5 okay so there's only one set of values so for this one it'd be it be this value here where they intersect which can satisfy both equations okay so they can satisfy uh, x minus y equal to 3 and then they can also satisfy x plus y equal to 5 so finding these golden values is uh, what you mean by by solving the system of simultaneous equations okay so solving this simply means finding that sweet uh, set of values okay so you can you can do it uh, using several methods which you will look at uh, later on but then you just want to just understand that what we are doing is we are doing a, a treasure hunt we're doing we are looking for for x and y values that satisfy this equation here so there'll be one set only okay so just to appreciate uh, the, the process for each and every method that we'll be using, I want to illustrate to you something, okay? So the, these equations, x plus y equal to 5, you can actually uh, present them on a, on, a, on, a, on a table like this, okay? So you can have uh, x values for, uh, the x values can be any range, so any number. It can be decimals, they can also be fractions, but then here we have taken the x values to be uh, negative one up to up to five okay so we're going from here to to here okay so we are looking for for the values of of y that satisfy the same equation so the way that you go about it is uh you have x plus y equal to equal to five so you can also say uh if x plus y equal to five y would be equal to five minus minus x like this okay so you're looking for uh y values that would give you this so here when x is equal to negative 1, you'd be having 5 minus minus 1. So 5 minus minus 1, you get 5 plus 1, which is equal to 6. Okay, so uh, when this is when x equal to minus 1. Okay, when x equal to minus 2, you'd be having, uh, you were, when x is equal to 0, rather, because we are we are increasing by, by 1 here. Okay, when x is equal to 0, you'd be having y equal to 5 minus 0, 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. Okay, like this. And when x is equal to 1, you'd be having uh, y equal to 5 minus x, which is 1. So you'd be having 4, like this. Okay. When x is equal to 2, you'd be having y equal to 5 minus 2, which is equal to 5 minus 2, you get uh, 3, obviously. So you, once you realize that there's, there's a pattern here, so you're, you're getting from 6 to 5, and you're getting from 5 to 4, and you're getting from 4 to 3 like this, okay? So this pattern actually tells you that your numbers, they're just going to differ by, by 1, just like that. So you can actually use this pattern to uh, map out all the values that we want for, 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 for y, okay? So we're starting with 6, so this one would be 6. When x is equal to 0, you'll be getting 5, and this one would be 4. Uh, it's not always that you have this pattern, okay? So just bear that in mind. And then here would be 3, here would be 2, uh, here would be 1, here would be 0. Just for good measure, we can actually check out, uh, we can actually verify 
uh, some some point here so we can verify for for x is equal to equal to 5 which is the last point so when x is equal to 5 you'd be having y equal to 5 minus minus x which is equal to 5 so you'd be having 5 minus 5 here then you'll be having 0 so it means that our, our value this one is is actually correct okay so that's exactly what we were what we're looking for so this is great so we've done for for one of these so you can also do for for another equation remember we are solving a system of uh, simultaneous equations we want to do them at the same time so we have done this part right now we're also going to do the same for for this for these other values okay so um, i'm going to uh, get my my blue my, my blue uh, paintbrush again and then here we, we will be uh, solving for the for the y values so you you'll be having x so we're going to do more or less the same thing we're going to do exactly the same thing for for x minus y equal to three so we want the values for for y okay so we're looking for the values for y so here y would be equal to i'm, I'm going to put y to the side and i'm also going to put uh three to the side in the same breath okay so this one becomes y and then this one becomes x minus three so i'm going to write x minus three like this i want to map out the the values uh for for y between four for x values negative one up to up to five so when x is equal to negative one what do you get you get um, y equal to so x minus uh three so which is equal to x is equal to minus one so minus one minus three you get minus four obviously okay so i'm going to write my minus four here later on okay now when when x equal to don't don't mind my handwriting okay so when x is equal to zero this time i'm going to write uh, y equal to so zero minus three so zero minus three here then you get minus three okay so we are, we are starting from negative four now we are on to our negative three so when x is equal to one this time okay so for this one here uh y equal to one minus three one minus three what do you get you get negative two so here when, when you check out your values what's happening is that they are decreasing by one so it's negative four negative three negative two let's see if we can get negative one uh, in the next number okay so when x is equal to uh this time let's say uh, two okay so the uh the next value will be two here so it'd be having y equal to so two minus minus three two minus three what do you get to get negative one okay so that means that our values they are decreasing by by one by one by one by one. So this is, which is which is great for us. Okay. Now we we just know that uh, our values start from negative four and then going down by 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 one. So let's write down the values. The values would be negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one. Then you'd have zero, and then you'd have one. Then you have have two like this. Okay. So I want you to observe something. So when you compare x minus one equal to equal to three, this one is a, it's a valid coordinate. So this one here, it's a, it's a valid coordinate. It means that it satisfies this one. Uh, for this one also, the, any 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 of the combination, so uh, zero five actually satisfies uh, satisfies this as well. So when you when x is equal to zero and then you have y zero plus plus five, then you get you actually get five. Okay. But then all these they they are different. So here when z when uh, x is equal to zero, this one is equal to five. When x is equal to zero, this one is equal to negative three. So they don't agree on what uh, the corresponding values for for y uh, when when x is equal to uh, zero. Okay. But then they actually do agree uh, for the corresponding values when x is equal to is equal to four. So you can see here. Okay. So here, this is what you're looking for. Because here the, the values they are the same so they agree that when x is equal to 4 uh, y is equal to 1 okay so these are your solutions for your simultaneous equation so x is equal to uh, your solutions would be x is equal to uh, let me write using this so your solution would be x equal to 4 and your y value would be equal to 1 okay so like this so this this one's the, the, this one would be your would be your solution okay this one would be your solution here so x is equal to x equal to uh four and y equal to one okay so this would be your uh the solution for a simultaneous equation now the problem is that the method that we used here uh we were flying blind we didn't know whether the few points that we put because these are not the only points for uh x 
plus y equal to equal to 5. They are so many, they are in infinite, you can be, they are endless, okay? They are non-countable. It's also the same thing for this one. So it's hard. Some, sometimes uh, they are not all numbers. Sometimes they intersect, maybe, maybe on fractions. So you can have some simultaneous equations where x is equal to half and y is equal to, let's say, one quarter. Sometimes x and, and y, maybe it's 3 over 17 or something. It's, it's, uh, it's just a messy space, okay? So how would you know, how would you know that you are supposed to uh, get these particular values? You wouldn't, okay? There's no way of actually telling whether you'd get any uh, set of values such that you can use uh, this equation, this, this, this method here. So we, we actually require, so let me, let me just uh, try to uh, give you uh, the same explanation, but uh, in, a, in a more uh, uptight, uptight way, okay? So uh, the problem is that we cannot use uh, this method to solve simultaneous equations in a sure and fast fashion. The reason is that we cannot be sure what uh, values of x to assume. So uh, there we're taking uh, between negative one, I think up to five. So you we won't be able to uh, know exactly what kind of uh, uh, numbers we're supposed to take. And then you wouldn't, you wouldn't have any slightest idea as well about the actual roots, the actual solution for the, uh, for the uh, equation. So we actually have to come up with uh, some equations from some methods that we can use. So we'll be looking at uh, these methods in depth uh, in later videos. So the first one will be the method of elimination. Okay, so method of elimination, it uses uh, the, it arrives at the same answer as what we're doing there, but then see it's a more sure way of uh, actually working it out. Okay, and it's also fast. Uh, this one will be uh, a lovely method to learn. Uh, we will also be learning the substitution method. Okay, it's more or less the same thing. It, it, it's, it's just a matter of using different calculators uh, to come to the same point. Okay, we'll also be doing a matrix method and graphical analysis method here would, would do it uh, later on when you're looking at uh, straight line graphs. But then essentially, uh, these are the, the three methods that we'll be looking at uh, in this topic. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video, okay? And then I'll be able to explain to you how the elimination method actually happens. So this has been fun for me. I hope it's, it's been fun for you as well. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, Yuba out.